Hi, it's Stu from Abacus Motorhomes. Thank you for choosing us for your motorhome hire. Uh, before you set off, there's a couple of operating instructions we want to run through with you, so let's get started. Now this model comes with two keys. You have the larger key, which flips out, that is for your ignition, but also removes your diesel cover. The remote buttons on here will operate the locks for the cab and the habitation door. The smaller key is for just the side lockers and the toilet cassettes only. Don't be tempted to use this on the habitation doors because they can fall apart and break if you're used incorrectly. All Abacus motorhomes are diesel, so you will need to refill the tanks upon your return. Uh, some models do have the additional add blue tank. Um, just be aware they generally have a range of about 1200 miles. So if you are doing more than that for your trip, you may need to refill it while you're on your journey. On the driver's door console panel, you have your joystick to control your mirrors. You have two mirrors on each side and your electric windows for the cab as well. In the cab, you also have your privacy blinds. So for these doors, all you do is slide the handle back. There is a magnet on the top here that will then fan up I'm going to attach in place. And then back down and slide the handle into place. On the windscreen, pinch these two buttons together and then slide the blind across. There's one on the other side and they will just clip together in the middle. And then when you're done, squeeze together and then clip them back into place. Now the control panel on this model, you can see is a several lit up icons. Auxiliary. Leave that on green. This one here will activate your internal master lights. Once that is on green, then you can use the switches that you'll find in the front and in the bedroom areas. This one here operates the outside awning light. And this one here operates our water pump, which you'll need for taps, shower, or flushing the toilet. Up here, we can check our battery and our water levels. So this one here will show me how much charge I currently have in my vehicle battery. This one will show me how much charge I currently have in my leisure battery. This one here will show me how much water I currently have in the fresh tank. And this one will show me how much water I currently have in the waste tank. To control your hot water and heating, simply press the button in the middle and your icons will begin to flash. The first icon here is for our ambient heating. So press the button and then turn the decoder to set the ambient temperature that you want. Press to confirm. The next one is for hot water. Press, and then we can choose between eco, hot, or boost. We generally recommend the eco setting, which is around 40 degrees, and press to confirm. Lastly, we can select the power source we want to run our hot water and heating from. Press the button, and then we can choose between gas, a mix of electric and gas, and electric on its own. Gas is obviously if you're not on a campsite and not hooked up to the mains. Mix one and mix two is one or two kilowatts of electricity combined with gas. If we don't want to use any gas, then we can just isolate it to one or two kilowatts of electricity. And press. Using the cooker, it's a very basic function, but there's a couple of safety points to be aware of. If you have a glass top, be sure to lift it before you use the hobs. Okay, when you have finished using the cooking on the hobs, let them cool off before you replace the glass as they can get very hot and you obviously don't want that to crack or break. Grill and oven positioned down below. You'll have your ignition point on here and then all you've got to do is open the door, switch it to the section that you want and press the button to ignite. And then again, just remembering to close that off when you're finished with it. Now the fridge on this model is the automatic Fetford model which means it's automatic is it will look after its own power supply. So what that means is if you're on a campsite and you're connected up to the mains, it will automatically run off the 230 volt electrical power supply. If you're not hooked up on the mains, it will run itself off of gas. Anytime the engine is running, then it will run off of the battery. The vehicle comes with a TV, which has a built-in DVD player. If you wish to use either of those functions, you can simply do this by using the remote. You have the source button at the top, so you can choose between TV or the DVD function. 
If you're watching TV and you need to tune it, simply go to the TV menu, tab down once you get to the satellite symbol and press to confirm, and then just select auto tune and that will automatically tune all the TV channels in that region. So before using the toilet, you will need to remember to pull the gray lever to the right. That will open up the cassette. Then you can use the toilet, the blue button to flush after you've finished, and then remember, always set the grey handle back to the left, ready for the next use. In the storage area of the vehicle, we've supplied you with a mains cable for 230 volt connection, hose for refilling your water supply, kit bags for breakdowns, you've got high-vis jackets, warning triangles, breathalyzers, leveling blocks, dustpan and brush, broom, awning handle, and also the tablets for your toilet. Connecting to a 230 volt power supply on a campsite, we have supplied you with the cable. Most important rule of thumb is, make sure that the lid always goes in first. Press the rest in, make sure it's secure, and close the flap down. To remove the cable, sharp pull, and replace. To refill your water tank, you'll simply need to lift up the flap, unscrew the cover, take your hose from the back, unwind it completely, connect it up to the nearest tap on site, and then drop the nozzle in to refill it. Once the water starts coming back out of the tank, then you know it is full. At that point, obviously remove the nozzle, replace the cap, and return your hose back to the vehicle. To empty the gray waste in this model, reach underneath and you will see there's the gray pipe. There's a handle about six inches away from it. So take the handle, point it downwards towards the ground. Any water in the waste tank will then drain out. Once it's complete, simply twist the handle back up into the nine o'clock position. To empty the toilet on this model, open the door. If you reach underneath, lift up the trigger. That will release the box. It will not release if you've left it open on the inside. So first thing you do is to tip it back, hold the green button down to release any trapped air, any pressure that could be built up inside. Once you've done that, then you can take the box to the nearest toilet or receptacle, spin the handle out, take the cover out, and then tip it down to the toilet. Replace a blue tablet down the neck, add a couple of jugs of water, replace the cover, close it up, and slide it back in. So to refill the gas on this model, open the door. You've got two gas bottles are inside of there. They're fully regulated. So to refill them, all you'll need to do is remove the cover, take the gun from the LPG pump and place it over the top of the bayonet fixing. It then has a locking mechanism which will hold the gun into place. Once it's connected safely, all you do is hold the button down on the pump. That will refill both cylinders at the same time. Once it stops, it's finished. Release the gun and replace the cap like so. To use your awning on this model, first you'll need to take your extender pole, extend it out for the full range. The T-piece will then lock into there. You can then start to unwind. Just checking that it winds out even and flush to the vehicle. Once you get it to the area that you want it, then within here you will find the leg mechanism. Come to this end here, there's a little thumb piece. Pull back on that. That will then remove the leg. Make sure that the foot is flat point towards the ground and there is a small plastic flap just on the inside of the leg. If you lift that up to about a 90 degree angle, you can then extend the leg, get it to the height that you want it and then push the flap all the way to the top. Repeat the process on the other side. Okay. At that point, you can then take the pegs and the mallet from the bag, peg the feet down to secure it. There is also an additional storm strap if you should need to use it. We don't recommend using awnings within weather that is not fair or still as 
strong winds can take them over the top of the vehicle and we don't cover them on our insurance. I hope you've enjoyed the videos and the tutorials and found them useful in preparation for your hire. Uh, we look forward to seeing you. If you have any further questions or you need any assistance from us, please don't hesitate to contact us on the main number or head over to our website or drop us an email. Feel free to share with us all your experience with Abacus Motorhomes uh, through our social media pages on Facebook or Instagram uh, or head over to our website to leave any further feedback. We look forward to hearing from you.